Hey everyone, welcome back to Tunity Families where we do the research so you don't have to. Today we're going to be talking about the Eufy 2K video doorbell and we're going to be going through the unboxing, talk about some of the specifications and features of this doorbell, as well as go through some of the install, setup, um, even show you a demo and, and go through and test some of the quality of the video and the audio of this doorbell. So let's get into the video. So we were contacted by Eufy several weeks ago asking if we wanted to check out their new video doorbell and of course we agreed. Also just as a heads up, next week we're going to be releasing a new video of the Eufy Video Doorbell 2K versus the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. So please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. Now let's first check out the features and specifications of the Eufy 2K. At the time of filming this video, you can pick up the Eufy Video Doorbell 2K for $136 on Amazon. That's down from $160, but we've seen it as low as $120. It's definitely less expensive than most competing doorbells, but we're going to see just what you get for that low price tag. The Eufy Doorbell offers free local storage on a 4GB memory chip built right into the doorbell itself. That means there's no monthly subscription for cloud storage space, which is a huge plus. However, there's really only enough space to store roughly 30 days worth of notifications and short video clips. There's also no 24 by 7 recording with this doorbell. Some customers may feel more comfortable having their video store on a secured cloud server versus directly on the storage chip inside the Eufy doorbell, which can be stolen right off your home. Although Eufy offers military grade AES-256 encryption on their storage chip, once the doorbell is stolen, then there goes all of your video history. The Eufy doorbell captures 2K video, also known as 1440p, which has a resolution rate of 2560 by 1920 pixels. And here in a minute, we'll be doing a quality test to show you what it looks like. Many people are more familiar with 1080p resolution. So I have a link down below to another video which explains in detail the difference between 1440p and 1080p resolutions if you're interested in knowing more. The Eufy doorbell is equipped with HDR or high dynamic range, which means there's more contrast between the dark blacks and the bright whites. And overall, the image is usually brighter and has a larger color palette. It comes with human detection, which is AI or artificial intelligence technology, and it really limits the alerts to the things that matter, like detecting a body shape or a face pattern to avoid some of the false alerts that you get with some of the other doorbells. Now, the Eufy 2K has an optional pre-recorded responses similar to the Nest Hello doorbell, and we'll be testing this out here in just a minute. It has a 160 degree field of view and noise cancellation with two-way audio so you can speak with visitors remotely. We'll test this out in just a minute. The Eufy begins recording a few seconds before an alert, which gives you full insight into the event. You'll see this in our upcoming tests. Now the Eufy 2K can only connect to a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network, whereas other doorbells connect to both a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz wireless network. So be sure to check out your router to make sure that it's compatible. Now as for requirements, you'll need an existing doorbell with a 16 to 24 volt transformer which is typically located or integrated with your doorbell chime. So remove the cover and just make sure that it's back there. Sometimes it's sitting in a, an adjacent wall or, or it could be right next to your breaker panel in your utility room. And when you find it, just check the labels that indicate the voltage rating and make sure that it's within that 16 to 24 volt range. We actually ran into an issue with this and had to upgrade our doorbell transformer, which didn't take long, but we've actually included a link down below of that quick project and you'll see just how easy it is. You also need a minimum of two megabits per second high speed internet upload speed, which is the same for most other video doorbells and security cameras. Now the Eufy 2K is IP65 weatherproof rated, which means it's constructed for rain exposure as well as extreme cold and heat. So now let's unbox the doorbell and see what's included. You have some paperwork and some instructions. And here's the doorbell itself. You'll see here's the microphone. This is the main lens. There's a light sensor, your doorbell chime button. This is the speaker on the bottom. This hole here is to push the pin to release and remove the doorbell from the security mount. Wire connectors on the back. You also have an electronic chime as you can't use the existing chime. And you can see the volume selector button here. There's the chime selector button. And this is the US power adapter that snaps on the back here. Here's a 15 degree mounting wedge made out of plastic. The mounting bracket is made out of aluminum. These are jumper wires to use with the existing chime. Here are mounting screws and plastic anchors and wire nuts and extension wires. Okay, let's now install the doorbell. First, turn off the breaker and kill the power to the doorbell and the chime. 
Open up the existing chime cover and using the jumper cables you need to connect the front connection with the transformer connection to bypass the existing chime and bridge the voltage to supply sufficient power to the video doorbell. This is also why you need an electronic chime that Eufy provides as your existing chime will no longer work. Now it's time to go outside and remove your existing doorbell. You'll have two electrical wires that will need to be connected to the doorbell. Decide if you'll need to use the included wedge kit to angle your doorbell. In my case, the doorbell faces the same direction as my front door, so I'll just use the standard mounting bracket and feed the wires through the middle before mounting to the outside wall. Next, connect the two wires to the screws on the back of the doorbell and tighten them down. It doesn't matter which wire connects to which screw. Then simply snap the doorbell in place on the bracket and your doorbell is now installed. Now you need to download the Eufy mobile app. Download the app for either Android or iPhone and then sign up for an account. Click on add device, select doorbell, this is where you'll scan the QR code in your documentation, select a region. This is where you can either continue to a detailed tutorial with instructions and video, or you can just skip it, which I did. Now here's a quick voltage test on your transformer. So you just push the button and you hear the ring, push the button that you've heard it. Then you'll select your wireless network. And just a quick reminder here that it has to be a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network, not a five gigahertz, it's incompatible. So just check your router, make sure that you know which one you have. And you enter your password and it's connecting to Wi-Fi. And after the doorbell is connected, it'll walk you through setting up the chime. So you plug it in, you'll see the blue light and there's a sync button on top that syncs it to the doorbell. Go ahead and connect it, you hear the ring and you know it's connected. Now you're all set to view live video and receive doorbell rings. Okay, so I just wanted to bring you to the app real quick and just show you how to use it. Um, we'll get into some of the configurations and settings here in a second. From the main dashboard, this is where you would just see your live audio stream. Down here you have kind of a toolbar. Um, this first one, so you can start recording um, and save this down instead of just having the live stream. So you can see save to photo album. This is where you can just take a screenshot um, this is so if you want to say something to somebody that's there on your doorstep, um, you know, you can click that and now it's anybody out there could hear me talking right now. Um, and then this is the automatic, the pre-recorded or custom recorded um, voice response. So if I came in here to settings, I can actually add a response. Um, this is one that I... Well, let's see if I just did a test. Continue. You can see just where I, as long as I'm holding this, it's just a quick test, test, test. As long as I'm holding this, it's just a quick test, test, test. Okay, but I'm just gonna come out here. This is one I recorded earlier. No solicitors. Sorry, no solicitors. So you can see right from here, someone is on my doorstep, I can actually select the no solicitors or any of these other kind of pre-recorded ones that come just out of the box with the doorbell. This is where I can hear the audio or mute what I'm hearing out there or this selection to make it go bigger. You can also flip it to the side and still have the same options on your toolbar there. So we just come to settings right here. This is where you have um, just kind of your on off features for live streaming, the chime alerts, LED at night if you want it always on, but honestly it just comes on automatically so you don't have to set that. Uh, your motion detection sensitivity, um, activity zone. So you can actually come in here, if I were to edit this, you can kind of change this around to where you want the motion to pick up at, or if you have a busy sidewalk or road, you can kind of customize that the way you want it. And you have your video quality. This is where you would set HDR. Honestly, I'm leaving it off. Um, you can kind of see the differences in the test that we did. I honestly feel that the HDR off looks better than with HDR on. Um, you know, like it's really there if you have really bright light that's washing out the image. Um, but usually you get a lot more color and vibrance uh, with HDR on and I really wasn't seeing that and so you may want to look into that. Um, streaming quality, you can say it's, see here that it's set to 2K HD. And when you get your night vision settings, the quick responses, um, 
notification sounds, time settings. You can go and set up your indoor chime, change your Wi-Fi selection, um, go into the local storage settings, updates. And what's pretty cool is you can come here to events and this works pretty well. Um, has everything for each day, so you can come in here to different days and see all the events that happened. Um, so you can see like some of the tests that I was doing earlier. Okay, this is the audio and video test with the porch lights on. And so, pretty easy. Security, here's some other features. Um, you have some different settings you can set if you have the, the actual UFI security system, but I just have the doorbell. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now let's go and test the audio and video quality. Hey everyone, this is the UFI 2K audio and video test with HDR off. Hey everyone, this is the Eufy 2K video and audio test with HDR on. Now we download one of the video clips and confirm that it does have the correct resolution rate for 2K, which is the 2560 by 1920 pixels. However, we did see that it's only capturing in 10 frames per second, so the video quality isn't that smooth, especially when comparing to say the Ring video doorbell that captures in 15 frames per second, or even better, the Nest Hello, which captures in 30 frames per second. And we're gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of those video resolutions between those different doorbells that we mentioned, so please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss those. Okay, this is the audio and video quality test at night, and this is with the porch lights off, so you're actually able to see me with night vision via the infrared LEDs. Um, and so what you'll, you'll still be able to see everything just fine. Um, my eyes probably look a little freaky as I get closer, but um, we'll just see the difference between this and with the porch lights on here in a second. Okay, this is the audio and video test with the porch lights on, and it's got a little bit of color to it now that it's not using the infrared um, for the night vision being black and white, but um, you can still tell with it being quite a bit darker outside that it's a little bit harder to see, but it's still good enough that with the lights on, you can see pretty well. All right, what we're gonna do here we can get a quick notification. And there it is. Let's just walk around the corner here. So what we're doing is we're just giving it a quick minute because we want to test if the cool down period is pretty quick of when it kind of resets and it's ready for another notification. What we're testing for is there are certain doorbells or cameras that they'll, the motion will be set off by say a car or something. Um, but then the cool down period is much longer before it'll start capturing more video. So essentially someone could set it off some way and then everything that happens for say five minutes wouldn't be captured on subsequent videos. So it's been about a minute now. So we're going to go check to make sure that another one, um, goes off right now. Okay. It's 538. It was kind of 537, right? When I did the last one. So it's been about a minute. The clock had just changed. Yep, we got another one. Okay, so that's good news, and that just means that it's a pretty decent um, quick cool off and probably gonna capture any events that happen back to back. So what we're gonna test here real quick is this UV doorbell has artificial intelligence and it has human detection, so it can detect the shape of a human. I'm gonna try to see if I'm a burglar or something. I can maybe fake it out by 
changing my shape, crouching down or something, walk up to it and see if it'll still detect me or not. Okay, so you saw me walk up and I did not get any kind of a notification there. So pretty interesting. Now as I stand up, Oh, I just got a notification. So there's the notification. You can see in the settings here, under motion detection, I'm right in the middle. So if you had it clear over to human only, and what I just did is still not picking up on the middle sensitivity. So to be on the safe side, you probably want to be more towards the all motion, just so you're sure that it picks up everything and that um, you saw what I just did, that you don't want to be able to sneak up without being detected. Testing, testing. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, can you hear me okay? Yeah, can you hear me okay? Yeah. That's awesome. How's the weather outside? It's breezy and sunny and not cloudy that's awesome how's the weather outside it's breezy and sunny and not cloudy oh okay you're gonna turn the volume up a little bit here now tell me again what what's the weather like i just turned the volume up a little bit more i want to see how the audio is All right, I can hear the birds loud and clear. That's pretty cool. It's a beautiful day outside. Can you hear me okay out there? Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Here, let me try one of these here. Do you hear anything? No. No? Says someone's responding now. No. And, okay. Here, let me try one of these here. Do you hear anything? No. 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 Says someone's responding now. Okay. Here, let me try something else. I'm gonna turn the audio off, and then I'll try one of these recorded messages. Tell me if you hear it. It said, excuse me, can I help you? <laughs> okay, let me try one more. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the no solicitors that I recorded. It says response sent. Sorry, no solicitors. Did you hear that last one? Yeah, it says, sorry, no solicitors, whatever the word is. I want to highlight that Eufy only records the doorbell side of the visitor's audio and not the audio from the homeowner's mobile device. Currently all other major competitors, Ring, Ness, and Arlo doorbells are able to record both sides of the audio conversation. So Eufy really needs to work on this. Now final thoughts on the Eufy Video Doorbell 2K. Overall we feel the Eufy Video Doorbell 2K is a decent contender in this space of video doorbells and Wi-Fi cameras. I like the thumbnail notification that zooms in on the person's face, and that's not a feature that's found on all video doorbells, like the Ring Pro, for example. Now, the AI human detection worked well when we are going through and doing the testing. It was spot on for the most part, and this is a great feature for avoiding all those false notifications that we sometimes see with the other doorbells. I also like the almost instant notification that we saw on all of our testing, and we didn't experience any delays. Now the two-way audio works fairly well and I noticed that compared to some of the other video doorbells out there, the quality is a bit better. It's a little bit more crisp, you can hear some of the slightest noises, or on other video doorbells, some of that audio can be a bit muffled. 
We also like that there's no monthly storage costs with this video doorbell, unlike some of Eufy's competitors. Now there are a couple downsides to the Eufy Video Doorbell 2K. The four gigabyte internal storage is only enough space, as we mentioned, for 30 days worth of the short video clips and notifications, and that's not a lot. And it means there's no 24 by seven recording, so you'll only be able to review motion detection and doorbell rings. We also mentioned the risk of that if your video doorbell gets stolen off of your home that you're going to lose all your video history. Eufy should have at least allowed storing the video on say a storage chip inside the video chime that's inside your house or on you know personal cloud storage or allow the option to store right on the Eufy base station if you have some of the battery powered Eufy cameras. Next the HDR wasn't that impressive. Now on my doorstep it wasn't so bright that you could really see a big difference where you had some of those colors washing out where the HDR maybe could have come into effect a little bit more. But when we turned the HDR off and back on, we really didn't see a, a big difference in one or the other. Now we did also notice some of that choppy video during playback and that's all due to the low 10 frames per second that we talked about. Now the AI human detection, it did work well during the testing. Um, it was able to avoid a lot of the false notifications that we've seen with some of the other doorbells during our testing with those. However, as you saw in the testing, it allowed me to trick the doorbell when I kind of crouched down and didn't have that typical human shape. And so for a savvy perpetrator, they could get right up to your doorbell or slip past your doorbell and come into your home without um, being detected. And as mentioned earlier, another limitation is that the two-way audio, it doesn't record both sides of the conversation. So during playback, I could hear everything happening on the side of the doorbell, but it wouldn't record anything that I was saying, as well as the pre-recorded responses. When those would play, you don't hear them on the, on the recording, which is pretty disappointing. So Yuffie, these are the issues that we found with this video doorbell 2K. If you get them fixed, we'd be happy to review it again and even do a comparison against, say, the Ring Pro, the Nest Hello, or even the Arlo doorbell. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Hope you like this video and please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And be sure to click the little bell notification icon just so you don't miss any of our upcoming product review videos just like this one. And that's it from Tuning to Families. We'll see you next time.